Hi everybody, I'm Annie. Welcome to Annie's Place. I'm so glad you could be with me today. Would you like to have some fun? Well, we've been traveling around the universe and heard everything from the shooting of the stars out the Saturn's ring. Wherever we go, all over the cosmos, they say you're going to burn it, Earth as people there they are. Oh, yes. I am Annie. We are, we are the Natural, Natural Wonder Band, Band, and you are Safari Bob. And we are the Natural cosmic Wonder Band. Cosmic Jungle Explorer, because it's a cosmic jungle we're in. Let's go back to the Arctic. Chill out with those. It started when um, I was pregnant with Elizabeth, and we were thinking about. That was 24 years ago. Yeah. And I had a difficulty with the pregnancy and I had to go to bed for nine, well, for about eight months. So um, we were thinking about the future of the earth. R-E-C-Y-C-L-E It's called recycling, sweeping the nation. R-E-C-Y-C-L-E It trims your waist and makes you feel good. Your town will look beautiful the way it should. Like the crash, recycling. Even before it was the law to recycle, we wrote songs about recycling to help educate the public. Recycle. Get to know your garbage, it's not all the same. R-E-C-Y-C-L-E. Before you drop it in the can, ask, what's your name? R-E-C-Y-C-L-E. Our ma main focus is about the wonders of nature. That's why we're the natural wonder band. Because yeah. we think if people realize how amazing it is, they'll want to take care of it. That's right. Yeah. I, I've felt that experientially we would be able to get the message over if we had uh, more exposure. You know. Yeah, business is our weakest link. Totally. Yeah. I mean, we have nine self-produced albums. And we had a cable show for four, four years. years. Self-supported table show. We uh, decided we were going to take it. We, see, we knew television was the future. So we put on a TV show all by ourselves. With, with, you know, as absurd as me. And he had this segment, Magical Tree. Oh, a wonder tree. A wonder oh, tree. Wonder tree. <laughs> Won't you, sh what's this the sentence? Oh, wonder tree, oh, wonder tree. Please show me what you have for me. Every, every week we'd have a different fruit feature. <gasps> oh, an orange. Look at that. The crew and the production of it was pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we were reaching, we knew we were reaching people, though, because, um, one day I took Elizabeth to Carvel, which is this ice cream store, and uh, I walk in with her, and this guy, white guy, about 23, you know, a, uh, he, uh, I said, I'd like a brown one. He says, you, I know you, you're the chef guy. <laughs> hey, Vinny, he yells to the back room, it's that chef guy from the show with the lady who sings. <laughs> so Elizabeth, of course, is all happy and I'm happy too. I said, wow, two guys, two stoners. You're famous. Are, are, are big fans of the show. So we're transcending our, our original market, which was kids. We've got the, uh, the, the post-college high school group, which is a great group. So we knew we were reaching people. But anyhow, we got free Carvels. <laughs> That's a story. But that show lasted about four years. We never got syndication. So I've always offset the music of the Natural Wonder Band. But we did some other jobs too, like you worked for a vending company at one point. Oh yeah. Right? Putting cans in a machine on uh, train tracks. We, we've done what we've had to do. That, was, that, year, I had th <laughs> that year I had three jobs. first inspiration and uh, Elizabeth re-inspired us two years ago with Isabella who's now our two-year-old granddaughter who lives with us and uh, we're seeing the world refreshed through her eyes and uh, now it's 20 years later and now we're living in uh, Hadley which is next door to Amherst where Hampshire College is right. so we fell in love with the area yeah. I mean th <laughs> things are 
things are pretty good. I mean, you know, we're living in a beautiful place. We're living, we're living with my best friend from college, we're living with our daughter, our granddaughter. This year we're really trying to just make money uh, playing gigs. Yeah, and that's all that's we do. We're doing. No day jobs. No day jobs. But yeah. you know, every week we're playing anything from a library to a nature center to a school. We're, we're still we're still mm -hmm. trucking. But, you know, 20 years it's been a lot of gigs, a lot of concerts, a lot of travel. But I get to travel with her, so that's okay. Yeah, we kind of like each other. We sort of got it down. <laughs> we make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Organic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I survive. But uh, I don't think we're going to retire. No. No, I don't want to. <laughs> no, I, I just want to work more. And reach more people. That's, yeah. that's my goal. If, if there's any uh, any sorrow in my 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 existence is that we're not reaching more people. Right. That's all. But besides that, I don't have that much sorrow. Oh well, the show is over and it's time to go. The show is over and it's time to go. The show. Show.